also welcome back guys and this tutorial now we are trying to edit our character in ZBrush and this is the thing here if you're new in ZBrush ZBrush looks so funny and I also had so many problems starting to use it but a good friend of mine helped me to how to use it so let me just cross uh, cross the ZBrush and I say yeah uh, I don't want to save anything so I have my ZBrush here and when you open ZBrush for the first time, you will be so surprised because it's uh, not an easy uh, software to use if you are a beginner, but with time you can find it easier. So uh, it's still opening. And I want to show you something here so far now with ZBrush. So if you open the ZBrush and you try to move on this place here, you will see like if I click this one, let's say like I want to uh, add this one. So if I click this one and then I, I hide, I click this one here, ZBrush will make for me so many things here. And this is the problem like if you are new in ZBrush, you experience this problem. So to avoid that one, you can just click Control N to make a new one and right now if i want to bring the character that i made so i'll just need to click import and now this is where i want to show you what is going to happen so if i come here i go to i'll save my project here and this is the tutorial man that i want so this one we export it as obj because the zbrush accept only obj files so what you're going to do is that you're going to say accept and you don't see it happening so but it will show you here so what you just need to do is that you need to left click your mouse and you drag it and you have your character the problem is that if you click again you have so many characters the same things like you want to do and this is so because you cannot edit in one or any of those characters and that is a problem so um my thing here is that i'm not going to go deep about this one i'll have to do a separate video about getting started with a zbrush and i can show you how to do this one so um now i what i just need to do is that my character is there so i just click and i drag my character and then i click edit and now i can move my character down scale my character move my character again um scale it until i get the size that i want so i like to change my character to another color like that way because i have a routine what how i do it then i come to this one and i do some divide so i'm going to do a, a separate tutorial to show you how you can do zbrush good by this one i'm just going to make a simple here to show you how it's possible to make so i just lot it this is the problem now when you are using zbrush because even rotating is a problem like let me just say i want to rotate exactly now like you can see this is my brush and it looks so big there so i can reduce the size of my brush to the size that I want to see it and I can also try to reduce it again until I get the size that I want so I just click here I choose the mark pen just so say okay and now I have now to come here and start now drawing my hair the way I wanted to see to look like so this one is sometimes not so easy the way think so I can try the thing is that you never get too many good tutorial to show you how you can do things on the zbrush like adding hair and everything so this one you 
I'm, I'm going if I get enough if I get some comment people who want to learn ZBrush I can show you guys I like you guys and I try to do everything to show you what you can but please don't forget to subscribe because that means also for me a lot that's where I get my motivation and I'm, I'm so thank you for those people who have been subscribing so this one is so you have to make sure everything look good I just try we we are trying just to make a here you can So you have to make sure everywhere is dark like you have to make sure that everything look good because if you don't do that way then you have some problem when you you have some problem when you have some your hair so uh, that was for me the simple way like i can do my hair so let me just try to make this one here look good so now we have done this one when it is gray like that way what I like to do is that I like to come to fiber and then I say I want to preview to give me this here so I just need to modify this one to reduce the length Yeah, this one is not the most perfect hair that we have but um, for those tutorial uh, I would just like first of all to leave it like that way so now just need to say accept I just say yes and now because I want to only here I don't even want the skeleton what I'm just going to do is that uh, this I've been having a problem with this one here exactly so this is now I need to export this here alone and guys have said if you need to learn something about the ZBrush I can show you and I'm just going to do a good tutorial because there are so many things you need to learn about the ZBrush you cannot so I just need now to export and I'll, I'll call this one the tutorial here and then I have to save this one as an OBJ the same way I did to bring it here. So I just save it. And now I can close my uh, file. So now what I'm going to do on my next tutorial is that I'm going now to import this here back. And then now we can try to see how it look and try to mash it. I don't expect it to be <laughs> so good the way. But you will see how it look like. So thank you for watching this video. And... Let's see us on the next video.